So you know that highly anticipated anime fight I've been talking about for the past few months called Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle? You possibly see Blaze Blue Central Fiction, Persona 4 Arena, and even the GOAT, Ruby. But what in the hell is Under Night and Birth? Under Night and Birth is a visual novel and a 2D fighting game co-developed by Echo Soft and French Bread, known for the Melty Blood series. It features a brand new cast of characters in a story that spins around modern fantasy. Well, an update for Unio called Unius finally came to North America over a few days ago. Welcome to my review of Under Night and Birth EX Latest for PS4, PS3, and PS Vita. Without further ado, like, subscribe, and let's get it. Tutorial. Let's start off with the meat and potatoes and what may be the most important thing for newcomers. If you want to learn a harder fighting game, this may be the most modern one for you to start with. The tutorial mode teaches you everything from basic fighting game neutral game concepts, strings, and to Unial's in-depth mechanics. You know you get stuck on the combo in any other fighting game? Well, Unial has a mode to where it will ghost and start you off from where you failed at. This is possibly one of the best tutorials I've ever dealt with since Killer Instinct on Xbox One. It makes me want to keep playing to get better for once in my life. Story Mode and Arcade Remember earlier how I said Under Night and Birth was a visual novel? Well, it's a whole bunch of just that. Story is interesting and if you're willing to sit through the long text for each character and backstory for each fighter in the franchise, it explains the background between this whole ordeal of Hollow Knight, the area and setting of Unio, and I think it's wonderful. You might get bored, however, because it's a slideshow for most of the time, but man, I digress, that's an opinion. Arcade mode is the real meat and potatoes because it gives you the relevant updates about characters in the current update of this game's story and Uniist. If you really want to dive deep into Unio's lore, there is plenty of it here, and it's a lot of funny quirks and weird moments. The story could be confusing to you if you remember a franchise such as Fate State Night or or even how some people say Kingdom Hearts is very confusing. So keep that in mind. Play the game however you want to do it. But I suggest going through it. It's a lot of lore here. Online and gameplay. So what's up everybody? You're probably playing Dragon Ball Fighters right now. And you're probably wondering. Is there another fighting game in 2018 that's coming out. That will have a better net code and set play. Whatever you want to call it. Than Dragon Ball Fighters. Unio right now is your game of choice. Under Night and Birth Latest is one of the best online lobby systems that you will get in the fighting game in this year possibly. Because Unio, you can invite people to rooms, you can even invite people while being on the character select screen and, and ready for a battle. Come on, that's really inclusive and that's really flexible for your friends, for you, and as a player if you want to invite people and you don't have to quit or remake lobbies and things of that nature. You can change a lot of settings, you can change the controls via the start menu, and so much more. Now about the gameplay. Unio is one of the most ground-based anime fighters, meaning air combos are not too big in this game. It's pretty much a big game focused on neutral game and movement. The gameplay is really fun. It's like a classic old fighting game. It's picture it as like vanilla Street Fighter with anime components. That's literally what it feels like to me. And anybody can get into the game. Anybody can play it. The tutorial mode is really great. The gameplay, I don't find anything really broken in Unio to be honest with you. There's a few little dumb moves or command grabs that are like impossible to do anything against on block or you know how fighting games usually are. But I think what I love about Unio so much is that it's pretty and it's clean. It doesn't overcomplicate the system too much. Yeah, anime fighters have a harder learning curve to play to learn and master. But however, there's nothing where mechanics or specific gimmicks will break the game. You have Velos and you have... Um, a lot of other block mechanics just like Blaze Blue Central Fiction, I believe, and that's one thing, but however, in this game, you can win without it. If you just learn some combos, learn how to play, you can get into the game really fairly e easy, only until you get to a high level standards of gameplay where you may need to learn a little bit more, but other than that, from what I've seen, it's pretty much just a strong focus on a neutral game component for Under Night and Birth. 
So that being said, this game has also, if you guys are wondering, I forgot, I don't have that much time to do that, but customization in this game is astounding. It's really good. It's really phenomenal. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's really cool. It's a lot of stuff you can unlock. You can unlock character colors. And if you guys know what a lot of anime fighters like Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear, they try to make you buy those colors from the PSN store for $2 each. There's a lot of other options that you don't even need to buy extra colors from via in-game for Union, and it's not that hard to get money to unlock those things either. You can also unlock artwork gallery, it's so many different pieces to unlock in Union. it's a really good full-fledged game. My only sad part about Union is that it's one of those niche anime fighters that a lot of people don't know about it, but if a lot of people played this game, I swear it would probably be big. But hopefully in the future, it might get us some love, some shine, but Union was a really fun game, and that's all I got time for. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to talk about that with YouTube, I've been slowly uploading, and I'm sorry about that, I apologize, and I don't have that much time to put too much effort into a lot of content as recently. Um, my mental, you know, trying to get myself back on 100%, so to be able to upload more for you guys in the upcoming month or two, because I really want to hit 10k by the end of the year or if possible that would be nice so that being said i would tell you guys out i'm done goodbye see you guys later you guys are golden and that is raw squala like and subscribe for your boy and peace